What's up, y'all? In this video, we're going to be talking about two different things, actually, and that is step drill bits and their use in the locksmith world. Now, if you're not familiar with step drill bits, they're, they're drill bits that have steps. <laughs> you, you start off small and you get bigger, depending on which bit you buy. They can go from like 3 sixteenths all the way up to inch and 3 eighths. I think is pretty much as big as I've seen. And it, it, you really wouldn't want to use one bigger than inch and 3 eighths. And I'll talk about that here in just a little bit. But most of them that you find in the box stores and online are pretty dang expensive. In the box stores, they start at about 50 bucks and go up from there. These were from Harbor Freight. And it was like a three pack for $15, $18. I figured might as well have them just in case. But... Most of the time, step drill bits are used on metal doors. In the locksmith world, we use them for metal door installations or any, any if we're putting on panic bars, stuff like that. These things can come in handy for enlarging holes. Uh, and in, in the metal door world, they're great because, you know, you're really not going to have much metal thicker than what the steps are on these. But we're shifting our focus to retrofitting older locks on wood doors there has always been a problem in that there's no real step drill bit that's affordable i might add i'll put a picture up here of the one from mcmaster car it's like 80 dollars uh 70 something dollars probably with shipping but uh i, I didn't want to spend that much money for this uh and and the ones you get at the store all go up past one inch now we all know one inch hole for the latches on the door but back in the day schlag favored the seven eighths inch hole and that is a problem when you're switching out locks now with updated locks let's say we had a bad 360 they're all bad bad 360 so we're gonna go ahead and take this off and uh i've got a big truck out here sorry about that you should be used to that by now though so we'll go ahead and take this off and i'll show you what i'm talking about yeah b360 had these horrible latches we go we're at a house we take it off and we're switching it out with a 60 series or or anything else that uses a fatter bolt even quick set locks i've got a quick set latch right here that didn't get it from the video but they all come bigger now just because of how they're made to adjust. So when you go and you try to just swap out the lock, guess what? You've got that you've got to deal with. And that is super frustrating. I would advise switching Schlage with Schlage. Uh, but as you can see, definitely not big enough. So the most common thing as locksmiths that we would do normally is we would grab a clamp a jig and uh and this is an old red quick set jig that i've cut off it used to be bigger uh but we would just you know put the jig on the door clamp it and drill the hole through however that can be a little bit messy uh depending on what you use if you're using a one inch bit you have to use the jig or a spade bit uh, you have to use the jig because literally you can't just you can't just take this and go because there's nothing to stabilize the bit as you're doing it what's going to happen is you're going to try and it's going to catch the edges of the wood really bad and scarred up and make it look pretty horrible. And then I started using, I, I, I've done this once or twice to see if it would work. This one stops at like seven eighths and then it goes up to like inch and three sixteenths maybe. The mortise that is on most doors for the latch, if you go and you try to use a step drill bit, what happens is that mortise is deeper so your step drill bit may get you up to one inch, but you can't go past that because, you know, if we, if we kept going with this, it would be way too big. It would chew up the edges, but even so, the steps on the drill bit still round it out. Enter a company that I'm not being paid to do this video. I purchased these with my own money. That's right, Drill Hog. I found Drill Hog has a nine sixteenths, which is just over half inch. Hold up. And now you know why it's dusty in the shop. Uh, it goes up to from 9 sixteenths straight to one inch. So I had had this in my shopping cart from eBay because they, they're pretty big on eBay. And they have their own website too that you could probably order from directly. But as I was on eBay, I threw one in my shopping cart and it's actually been there for a while. 
I actually bought a one inch spade bit from them as well. They have a whole bunch of different drill bits and stuff and uh, lifetime warranty, which is a little bit intriguing, but this was the main thing that I was interested in as to being able to quickly size this up so that we could put a lock in. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot. Now I will note on cordless chucks like this, you do wanna be very careful when you're chucking up one of these step drill bits because you can bite yourself really well. And it does need to go as far as possible, which has been another problem because you would have to use the step drill bit, make it get a little bit bigger, uh, just big enough for a standard one inch spade bit to go and then go the rest of the way through. Hopefully, since this is one inch, we can just chuck this up to the very tip uh, of the chuck and get it tightened down and go straight through and and be done with one bit if not you know if not i don't know we'll see so here we go let's move the camera over okay let's see how this does and see did we find the perfect solution oh, wow now when you're doing that you have to be real careful because your the actual chuck on your drill could actually ding up the edges so that's why i've got it extended as far forward as possible uh if your chuck gets pretty close to that you may experience it pulling in and that could actually hit the edge but if you're pretty careful with it, you can do it with no edge interference. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. Uh, now with the spade drill bit, uh, I will note again, these all come with their serial number. You get it, you, you log the serial number to be able to, if you need to ever return it one day, since they do have a lifetime warranty. Uh, they did come sealed up pretty nicely. And uh, the one inch bit, again, I've done a video on this, but Irwin took away our points. And when I had that in my cart and going through some of their other stuff, they've got regular metal drill bits and everything. I noticed the one inch or all their spade bits still had points. So worst case scenario is if you got too close to the edge or you see that barely went through. So if it was a two and three quarter back set, obviously you'd have to switch to a one inch spade bit. But now that you have it, big enough you can always get it in and that really holds it steady for you to be able to go through the rest of the way but uh, i'm liking that let's try it one more time see if we can duplicate the results or if that was just luck we'll move it down to this guy I'm thinking i like this a lot y'all did pretty well again this is not sponsored by or anything like that this company i just found it online and figured I would share it with you because we all have the same issues sometimes, you know? So once again, seven eighths inch hole, gotta make it bigger. We're gonna give this a go one more time, see if we can do it just as well as we did the first one. Once again, watch your hand. Oh, also I might add the hole. If you don't know what that's for, you drill, you drill through. So you drill through something and then if you need to run wire or pull wire, you can just loop your wire through it and pull it back through the hole you made. That's what that hole is for. Uh, or it could be a speed, no, it's it's for wire. It's for wire, so that's a handy little thing uh, for the electricians out there. Uh, the camera is in the way, so I'm gonna back it up just a bit. There we go. All right. this a lot y'all especially for a $20 grill bit it did not nick it at all and uh, we've got a beautiful fit still with just the enlarged hole for the bigger latches so awesome awesome uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get mine registered but once again drill hog on eBay or their website 
a welcome addition to your toolbox. Ooh, just had a rash of customers come in. Let me finish off this video. Uh, yes, uh, anyway, if you're interested in Drill Hog, check them out on eBay. The 9 sixteenths to one inch bit, I think is my new favorite drill bit, y'all. We're gonna put it in this Dewalt thing that I hate. I'm gonna be getting rid of that. Gonna be getting rid of that guy for sure because it just it just decides to open a little bit too easily. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments on this video or any other ones, post them in the comment section. We'll catch you next video.